A star was born in Chicago, Illinois. Dawn Ellen Stenslin came into the world 39 years ago, according to the notes I have here from Dawn. From a young age, she wanted to be a TV journalist. Well, for those of you just joining Wink TV's top murder story coverage... Dawn's first on-air job was as a main anchor in Fort Myers, Florida. You can tell by the hair, it was the 90s. You can tell by the talent, she wasn't long for Fort Myers. News Dawn Stenzel takes a look at some of the best places to go for your buck. Dawn quickly got the attention of the networks and was hired to report and anchor at WBBM, the CBS o and in her hometown of Chicago. It was romance that brought Dawn to Philadelphia. She fell in love with Larry. Not that Larry, this Larry. Dawn got married and got a job anchoring and reporting at CBS in Philadelphia. Topping Eyewitness News at 5. And the network that gave Dawn her first big break gave her another one. Hi, we're back on this Saturday morning. I'm Dawn Stenzel. Every weekend, Dawn took the trip up to New York to co-host CBS Saturday Morning. It was Fox in Philadelphia that returned Dawn to the main anchor slot, and it paid big dividends. He can be dangerous. You want to check Dawn owned 10 o'clock in Philadelphia for eight years, with the highest ratings ever recorded for a newscast in that time slot. Don't purpose. give your kids cereal. Ever? <laughs> <laughs> she is still anchoring at WPHT in Philadelphia on the top-rated Rich Zioli show. Hey there. And she recently won two more Emmys as co-host of WJLP's Town Hall on the opioid crisis in New Jersey. Dawn is known by everyone who has ever worked with her as someone who can turn the world on with a smile. Please welcome Dawn Stenslin Menti into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. So my kids said, Mom, you got two minutes. Here it is, two minutes. They were on a, stuck on a Philadelphia school bus in the snowstorm yesterday. I'm so honored to be among you and so many of the women, the great women in this room who I know, who I've worked with. Diane and I worked together. Of course, Larry Kane was my first co-anchor. Paul Gluck is here, my f very first news director who's now with Temple. And also we have Professor Phil Thompson with uh, WCU, Westchester University, a brand new major. So we have, which is awesome, right? Because that's really what this organization is about when it comes down to it, is the future and the students and journalism, communications and media. So we, we really praise this organization for all the scholarships. This is a nonprofit, and so this is what it's all about, passing that baton to the future. So I want to thank my family, my not just my TV family, I'll talk about you in a minute, but all my family, my brothers and my sisters who came here to see Jim Gardner and Vernon Odom, but thanks for staying late. And to my husband, Larry, who helped with the video, and Brad for fixing it. He said, your husband's a TV on-camera guy. Don't ever let him do a video again. But he did a great job. But thank you, Brad, for all the fixes and the late night. And of course, Jerry Wilkinson for really bringing us all together to celebrate one another. And that, that, that's just it. You know, Rich Zioli, my radio family, Greg Stalker. And then I have my JLP family is here, too, from the TV side. But then I have my alma mater, I have Fox 29, I have CBS 3, and I do feel like it's a family reunion in many ways. We come here to celebrate our craft and to celebrate one another. So I, I want to keep it quick because the kids are falling asleep, but I'm so blessed and pr truly privileged to be among you because we have legendary people here. And then we hope to pass, as I look at Phil Thompson, as I look at Paul Gluck, we hope to pass on that baton, that passion for the story. And I remember as a little kid, I was eight years old, and I just said to my parents, I want to tell people stories. And that's really why we all got into this business, because it's such a privilege to tell somebody else's story. Right, Joyce Evans? My Gemini sister from Fox 29, yes, Mercury is in retrograde, so I gotta get off this stage. But thank you so much, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, and I know everybody's tired, and it's been a long, wonderful, beautiful evening, and we thank the broadcast pioneers. Thank you so much.